Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you the difference between email campaigns and email templates, and why I personally like to use templates, in fact, templates within templates, for the flexibility that it allows me to communicate and track as I'm sending things out to my audience. So check out the video following this intro, and we'll see you at the end. Hey there, in today's tip of the week, I'm gonna to talk to you about emails and what is the best solution for you when sending out emails in high level. Now, I'm not talking about just like an email like, hey, Bob, this is Dar. I'm talking about email newsletters. And so I'm gonna give you a couple of different examples. We're gonna talk about how to send them by themselves in campaigns and then how to send them um, in workflows uh, using templates. So let's dive right in. Well, first of all, I'm in the marketing folder, right? Or in the marketing tab, and then I'm in emails. Now you've got campaigns and templates. Let's talk about campaigns first. If I do email campaigns. That is simply just an email campaign. I've got them in different folders, right? So let's, let's look at this. When I first started doing this, I thought, well, I'm just gonna do a tip of the week and I'll just do a campaign. Well, that's simply an email, right? So in this one, we talked about locking workflows. Here is the email. And when you do it like this, you're just creating it here and you're sending it right from here. So for example, here, we'll just clone this one really quick. Now I have it cloned and if I go into this and this is the email and I have it all built and done and I wanna send it, I can send or schedule it right here, right? Where it's gonna go, who it's from, and who I want to see it. All, you know, I wanna choose contacts or send them my smart list, etc. So simply, you build the email in the campaigns and you send it. Now, is that the best way? Maybe not. Watch what's next. So now I'm gonna go into emails, but I'm gonna go into templates. And templates are not quite what you think. You think, oh, I'm gonna use a template to build an email campaign. But actually, in this case, we're gonna use a template so that we can pull templates into other places in high level, like into workflows. So I have my templates, so to speak, that I use for uh, guests that are gonna be in the podcast. So I'll copy this template and create uh, another email template off of that, or my tip of the week and create another tip off of that. So these are actually blank templates. Well, not blank, they already have something in them, so I'm gonna copy them and replace them with uh, current text and whatever the topic is. And now I'm gonna to go to, let's go to tip of the week. So this is the last one we sent out, Community Choice Awards. Now it's an actual template, uh, but it looks like an email campaign, the exact same thing. We build it up the way we build it up, text, copy. Uh, by the way, here's just a little tip within a tip. Uh, this GIF is actually an image, so you can get more engagement when you use movement. So rather than put an image here, right, it's image, it's a GIF. Uh, okay, now, once this is all set up, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna look at my settings, get my from name, my from email, the preview text, and the email line. Once I do, and I save that, now I'm gonna go to workflows. So the email is all ready, and actually, another quick tip is always preview it, right? Preview the template, make sure it looks the way you want it to look, test the links to make sure they're gonna go where you want them to go, right? So that all looks good. Now I'm gonna to go to workflows. Now in this um, scenario, I've got a couple different workflows that I like to use the emails in. First one is one where I have text as well. So let's look at that. So here we have a workflow where I dump people into the workflow. It waits a few minutes. I just do that for safety's sake. So. Like I don't forget something, I'm like, oh, I forgot, and it's already gone through, so I just give myself a couple of minutes. Then I've got the email. And so here's the email, and it sends it out. And as you can see, I'm pulling it from a template, right? So rather than having to type out an email here, I'm just pulling it from a template that I created in the email templates area. Then I'm gonna wait two minutes. And then, because I sometimes send these in the middle of the day, middle of the day in the US, is middle of the night somewhere else. 
And if I'm going to send a text out to people, I don't want to send a text out to someone in uh, the UK or in Australia in the middle of the night. So I'm going to see if I've tagged them international. So if they've got an international phone, I tag them international. And if they are not tagged international, then I'll send the SMS. Right. Um, so that's how I do that. Now let's go back. Now this is email only. So for example, the email you're receiving today, it's going to come into this workflow. I'm going to take the contacts and put them into this workflow. And here, would, this is an example of why you would want to use a workflow. If you just use the email campaign sender, you just send it. You can get some information, but you can't really do much with it. In this case, what I want to do is I want to send someone into this workflow and here's the email they get, right? So as you can see, I've pulled it from the last template that I've used. And then the next step is wait until email is open. So a lot of people don't open the email right away. Some people never open it. Some people open it two weeks, a month from now. When they do, so I have this wait step. When they do, then I'm going to update their contact data to say last email opened. So this way I know when they opened the last email. And just another example of why you would want to bring an email uh, into a workflow. And by doing that, you need to use templates. So just a quick recap, when you're building emails, you can do them a couple different ways. You can do the email itself via a campaign and just send it out from there. Or you can do build emails and templates. And actually I have templates that I copy into the templates. Um, and then from there, you can put those templates anywhere you want. I like to use them inside of workflows and, um, uh, yeah, I hope that helps. If you got benefit from this, if you know anyone else who would get benefit from this, please share. If you got benefit, please give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Wish you all the best on your high level journey. And if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Uh, check out darholdsworth.com for more resources. See you later. So what do you think? Did that make sense? Templates versus campaigns? Either way is gonna work great for you. It just depends on what your objectives are and how you wanna do things. Hey, if you found value in this, please give it a like, share with someone, consider subscribing to the channel as I do high level hot tips every week and I interview very cool people also using high level in their businesses so you can see how other people use high level in their business. If there's anything I can do to help you, Check out my site, darholdsworth.com. Reach out through there. I've got great free assets for you, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.